All right, so if your cat is ignoring you, science may actually have cracked the code to help get them to pay a little bit of attention to you. Nobody needs this more than Cody. And also, experts want you to stop washing your jeans. Oh, sick. John. Cody Stark is here to slap us with science. That's right. Uh, by the way, that's Dr. Cody Stark. I did not pay $50 on the internet for my fake PhD for nothing. Thank you. Sorry, doctor. Uh, I actually knew this thing about the cats before I read this story. Here we go. Cat owners, we got some good news for you. It seems scientists have found a way to get your cat to pay attention to you. Uh, the answer is blinking slowly. In a study published by Nature Psychologists in the UK, they did research with dozens of cats, which is basically my entire life. In the first experiment, 14 owners of 21 cats were given the instructions to slowly blink at their cats while at home. For the second experiment, they kept everything the same, but they swapped the cat owner for a stranger, and they found that slowly blinking at your cat causes the fussy feline to more likely to approach you. Really? Yeah, yeah. You've been I, slept. Can with I try it? Science. Yeah, go ahead, Jen. All right, so somebody at home, bring your cat near the TV. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Go for it. <laughs> you made a friend. Uh, when we were fostering those kitties, that was the, what they told us to yeah. do. Like, look at the cats and then slowly. Really? Blink, yeah. Oh, so not like the sarcastic blink. Like no, no, no. Oh, no, no. Uh, speaking of animals, uh, science also says that your dog's brain doesn't care about your face. A lot of dog owners love to gaze at their pup's face, and that fascination could be a one way street. People's brain tuned into faces. But researchers in Hungary and Mexico used a brain scanning technology on 20 pet dogs to measure their responses to faces. And the study found that faces were captivating for people. But for the dog scanned, it showed that there, there really wasn't any activity in the brains, which oh. might just be the dog's dog. brain. Uh, they say that the study doesn't mean that dogs don't see or care about faces. It just means that dogs tune into each other's clues. Hmm. They, just, they don't care. They hmm. don't care about your face. You've been playing. Uh, but, I, I just update on this story. Uh -huh. uh, it was a typo. It wasn't faces. It was feces. It was oh, that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, hey, Ducks how you been? Not interested in your feces. Why do they do that? I don't That's know. My weird. dog, we have to stop every walk if uh -huh. it comes across a piece of another dog's, you know what. Yeah, it's like, I, I'm going to do some major yeah. research on this. <laughs> uh, please stop washing your jeans. Yeah, you heard that right. Stop washing your jeans. A new study suggests that washing your jeans too often can actually be hurting the environment. The new research shows that the microfibers could be polluting our rivers and lakes and other bodies of waters. Researchers say that they, the more the studies uh, need to be made to really know the possible effects could be to our wildlife as well. Uh, but they suggest that washing jeans and any other denim clothing less often could help reserve, uh, reverse some of the impact. Hmm. You've been slapped aside. So there you go. <laughs> Wash your underwear, but not your jeans. It's <laughs> such a half hearted slap. It really was. It was like this. <laughs> oh. What was that shot? <laughs> oh. oh. Now slap the camera. <laughs> there you go. You've been slapped with us. <laughs>